Want to hear how speakers evolved? Let's travel from early horns to cutting-edge 2025 tech. Long before electricity, sound was amplified by simple acoustic horns, passive megaphones carved from animal horns or wood. By the late 1800s, these became iconic on gramophones like the Victrola, with large conical horns boosting volume mechanically. They enhanced mid to high frequencies, but struggled with bass and clarity. In 1861, Johann Philipp Rice created the world's first electric loudspeaker, a moving iron design for the telephone, producing clear tones. Then in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell patented moving iron telephone receivers. Ernst Siemens followed in 1877 with an improved diaphragm design. By 1898, experimental moving coil transducers appeared. Oliver Lodge's prototype marked the beginning of the dynamic speaker era. The major breakthrough came in 1925 when Rice and Kellogg patented the dynamic moving coil loudspeaker offering smoother frequency response. In 1921, the Phonetron spearheaded direct radiator speakers in domestic radios. Also, the Tractrix horn, patented in 1927, improved horn performance and is still used today in high-end systems. After WYD, acoustic suspension enclosures emerged. Edgar Vilcher's 1954 AR3 design allowed tighter bass in smaller cabinets. In 1957, Quad released the first production electrostatic speaker prized for clarity in high-end audio. The JBL Paragon, produced from 1957-1983, combined stereo and horn loading in one iconic cabinet. In 1980, active two-way systems with built-in crossovers brought separation and clarity improvements. Ribbon speakers and flat panel or planar models arrived in the 1960s, 70s great for detailed, wide-ranging sound. Today, MEMS micro speakers power our earbuds and smart devices, tiny but powerful. As we've seen, speaker tech evolved from horns to high fidelity and MEMS, from clunky acoustics to immersive digital audio. What amazed you most, the phonograph era hi-fi boom or 2025 MEMS? Comment below, hit like and subscribe for more sound history.